Well, we are just one week away from the busy Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of the summer season. That means a lot of people will be outside enjoying time on the water once everything warms up. News 8's Josh Scheinblum joins us live in New Haven with what to know when it comes to safety. Josh. Good evening, Brian. It's National Safe Boating Week. No coincidence when you consider there are lots of people in our state who are heading out onto Connecticut's waterfronts to enjoy the beautiful outdoors. But a good time can turn into a bad time quickly if the proper procedures aren't taken before you ever head out on the water. Now, a little bit more about National Boating Safety Week. It's why several state agencies and coast in the Coast Guard have teamed up to spread awareness on boating safety. Now, if you need a reminder, for why that's important, look no further than last weekend. A kayak washed up on the shores of New Haven, sending out rescue crews to locate the boater who was using that boat. Now, that individual was found out to be fine. They didn't know where, he didn't even know people were looking for him until he saw local reports on the news. It's why officials with the Coast Guard are stressing the importance of putting your contact information somewhere on your boat. So, should a similar situation arise, they won't have to deploy the resources necessary to. To locate a missing person. Now, another good idea is to have what they call a float plan that they say can also help prevent a lot of potential problems. Just letting them know where you're going out of, when you're going out, how long you expect to be out, when you expect to be back, so they have an idea of what's going on. Now, if you plan on being a passenger on a boat at any point, there's a role that you can play, too, to make sure that everyone aboard stays safe. Now, we've only scratched the surface here in terms of the information that was given to us by the Coast Guard. So make sure you tune in coming up tonight at 10 and 11 on News 8, where we will have even more advice. For now, we're live in New Haven. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.